What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, John, from the Game of Duty here, welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And in the latest episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, we did the first part of the investigation. In today's episode, we are going to tackle the second part of the investigation. The first part of the investigation all was in this one room. Now we are going to travel to multiple places within this area. The first area that we have to tackle is uh, Ryoma's, uh, and this is, oh no, we, is it lastly the magic? I don't think they're going to want me to go into the magician's area, but let's go. It's convenient. It's here, but I think specifically the and lastly this area is going to tell me, it's, it's going to be like, we haven't done this, this, and this yet. Oh no, it did let me. Okay. Hmm. So this is Himiko's research lab. What are we going to investigate then? Hmm. The trick that Himiko used in her magic show. I need to figure out how it worked. You know... Well, you say that, but what if this it was real magic with no tricks or mechanisms? Yes. Well, that would be a problem. It would not just be about the trick. I need to ask that guy for some questions. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi. Do you want to talk about want to talk to me about something? Okay. I'll tell you anything you want to know. You are my favorite, after all. When he says that, it sounds like he means the opposite. And it makes me really hey. nervous. I do, actually. It's about uh, when we were kidnapped by Gonta yesterday. You snuck into our rooms to steal our motive videos, right? But is that all you were doing? You came back pretty late. I see. I see. You want to know my alibi for nighttime yesterday. That's a good question to ask. The gym is off limits during nighttime, so Ryoma was probably killed before or after. Which makes nighttime yesterday super suspicious since everyone was doing their own thing. Right. And what were you doing then? Um, It'd be easier if I just explained it step by step what happened while I was out last night. After you regained uh, consciousness, Suichi, Gonza brought Himiko and Angie. That was about five minutes before 9 p.m. Right after that, I left Gonza's lab and headed straight towards the dorms. I thought I'd be back in about an hour, the start of nighttime, but something happened. Huh? Something happened. Hmm. Right when I was uh, got to the entrance hall, Kurumi spotted me. That's right. I got after I left Gata's lab. It was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me, left and right, asking if I was up to no good. Then she started criticizing my behavior and lecturing me on my manners and relationships. Hmm. Can you believe that? I mean, who does she think she is? My mom or something? If I remember correctly. Uh, didn't you ask Kurumi to be your mom earlier? That's so mean. She just kept talking and then finally let me go at 10 when nighttime rolled around. Huh? A whole hour. <laughs> well, it was the only the first half hour was the lecture. Then we played tag for the other half. She was staring at me or starting to bore me. So I turned around and left to leave then. Please wait. Stop right there. Our conversation is not over yet. Uh... I don't get to listen to you. Uh, I don't gotta listen to you. You're not worthy of lecturing the ultimate supreme leader. <laughs> Come on, Miss Maid. Catch me if you can. Is that a request? So that means... And then, I guess Kurumi decided to take the tag super seriously. I tried my best to end, uh, in the end, but she caught me a little before 10. Then she started lecturing me again and let me go when nighttime started. So... so do your alibis hold up? Even when she was chasing you around? Please. We ran into each other a bunch of times, so yeah, they should hold up. Then at around 9 p.m. until nighttime, both Kokichi and Kurumi have alibis. <laughs> After Kurumi let me go, I finally went to the dorms to collect the videos. By that time, I returned to Gonta's lab, and it was already 11 p.m. Uh, from 10 to 11, he doesn't have an alibi. Ah. Oh, yeah. I did see something odd while Kurumi was lecturing me, though. Something odd. Hmm. It was a I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but... I saw her around, uh, walk around for a bit. I wonder who it was. A girl in her underwear. What the hell is he talking about? Kokiji's account was added to the group blood way. section of the handbook. By the way, you didn't get captured by Gonta yesterday, did you, Kaido? Where were you, and what were you doing? Okay. I was running around the whole time. I hid in the bathroom, bedrooms, and all over the school. I see. Hmm. What were you doing? Or what are you doing here, Sumigi? Or Samugi? Huh? I Well, I'm investigating. I know I'm plain, but it's plain to see I'm investigating. Okay. And is that so? Hey, so? So, did you find any clues? I'm still thinking about that. 
I, I don't think you can uncover clues just by thinking about no. them. Um, no. In fact, I still haven't found anything. <sighs> then get to it. Looking around is how you find clues. <laughs> but I think leaving the guy alone is just plain bad. Samugi gave Kokichi a meaningful glance. Hey. So I've decided to plainly keep an eye on him. That's why. Even plain old me can help out. Large water tank. It's a huge water tank. It looks like the one that was used in Himiko's show. So... It looks like the same tank Himiko used in the show. I guess this one's a backup? That's what Himiko told me and Kibo when we carried the tank out here. Man. Then perhaps we should investigate this tank so we can learn the secret of the tank. I encur encouraged, I began walking around the tank. I was looking for anything that had to, could be a switch mechanism. Hmm. Huh? What's this? There's a segment of the tank near the top that opens up. But why open up here there? Oh wait, perhaps it isn't random. That segment had to open up there. The water tank trick has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. That's gonna say that we don't need this, right? What? A huge saw? It probably used the saw person a half trick. Oh, it's letting us leave. That's all we needed. Okay. Yeah, so this is definitely going to be a lot shorter of sector sectors. Okay, so now we need to go to the map. We need to go to the second floor. Nope. This. Oh, wow. There's actually a lot here. Tennis Pro Lab. The Ultimate Tennis Pro's Lab. If I'm right, then the handcuffs were found uh, in the tank were from here. And if the handcuffs came from here, that means the culprit was here as well. They may have left a trace of evidence. Hmm. This room, it's a little different from when we were here before. It feels off. What's the matter, What's the matter Suichi? No. Shuichi. Ah, nothing. Anyway, let's figure out the handcuffs. We should take care of that problem first. The shower room. The ultimate prisoner's lab. Yep, there's handcuffs missing. This is the first time I've been here. It's a shower room, but it feels less like an ultimate tennis pros. Hmm. But, and more like the ultimate prisoner's lab. Hey, so. Do you think this was made that way on purpose? Did they remodel the shower just for that? Okay. Yeah, I think they did. <sighs> Jeez, Monokuma's got bad taste. Well, we already knew that, though. Handcuffs. There they are. The handcuffs. Um, look, Kaido. The handcuffs hanging on the wall. They look like they're the ones in the tank. Or wait, are they the same? Because... I think so. Here, look. Remember. See the empty hook? The handcuffs we found must have been hung there. It might means the culprit was definitely here. Scratch handcuffs was been updated. Sink. I don't think there'd be anything here, but it's a pretty big stone sink. You could fill up or fill it up with a lot of water. Huh? What's this? Scratches on the stone? Like someone or something was scraped against it? So... You're right. What made them? Hmm. The scratch marks are clearly not natural. They must have been made by some kind of metal. That is interesting. Scratch sink has been added to the truth bullet section of the notebook. There's still things to investigate in here. Um Oh the window, the window, the window. I would have never thought the window. This window has no vines or barbed wire or bars blocking it. And there was that one window I could see from the pool area. This is probably that window. I should open it just to make sure. Just as I suspected. The window you can see from the pool is the window to Ryoma's lab. Ooh. 
A pool? Huh? Wait, up? We're on the third floor? So we're pretty high up, yeah? If you did it just right, I think you could jump right into the pool from here. Right. Yeah. And you could swim at any time other than nighttime. But it said the school rule. It said in the school rules and the rules of the pool area as well. Ah. I see. Well, I don't want to swim, so that definitely doesn't really affect me. Wait a second. What is this? Huh? huh? Hey, so look, weird scratches on the window frame. Okay. You're right. There are definitely abrasions here. These marks are similar to the ones that we got under the gym window frame. I'm positive these marks aren't the result of opening and closing the window normally. The window's frame is sturdy as well. The gym's window's frame was the same way. It looks like it would hold even if there was a lot of weight on it. Shuichi. Now you understand, right, Suichi? Huh? What? Got it. How amazing I am to have noticed such a super ultra important clue? It's all in a day's work. <laughs> I mean, I found a pretty important clue too, but I won't say that. Mark window frame has been added or updated in the truth bullet section. Da, da, da. We came here to confirm my suspicion about the handcuffs found in the tank. But we found even more of the clues than I was expecting. Together with the fact that this is Ryoma's own lab, there are too many points of concern to be mere evidence. Or a mere coincidence. It must be important hey. evidence. Seems like you figured something out. You seem a bit more confident. All right. All right, then. On to the next place. There is no point in staying here. Right. Would you like to leave? Yes. Will it let me leave the, the tennis pro area? Hey, so... So, where should we go? Whoa. Oof. As he came out of the shower room, Kaido tripped and fell to the ground. Hold up. The hell? Something caught my leg. That's... Or was caught on my leg. Ah, it looks like a cable. Ah. This is for the tennis net. Man, whoever left this here should have put it in the corner. Wait, the tennis net. Hmm. I see. That's why the room felt odd. I should investigate this in detail. The reason I thought the uh, room felt off is because of the net. When we came here last time, the tennis net was up. Okay. But now, the cable has been removed. Huh? So, like, someone took the cable off? Why would they do that? Hey. Kaido, can you help me? I want to measure how long this cable is. Mm -hmm. No need. It is about 50 feet long. Huh? What? Ah. Oh, I was in the tennis club until middle school, so... I know how long a tennis cable is. Uh, um, you were in tennis club? That's right. That's why it pissed me off so much that Ryoma was acting like hey. that. Did you know Ryoma from before? Ah. I never met him, but I had heard a lot about him. You know, I mean, these days, there's no one who played tennis that hasn't heard of him. He's been a tennis legend since middle school. He's the one, he was like a hero to every tennis kid. Geez. And then, once I finally got to meet him, he became a coward. That pissed me off so much, I ended up being too hard on Damn. him. But regretting that now won't help. There's nothing I can do. So, so what suspicion? Uh, what's what's suspicious about the length of the cable? Did you did something, or did something about it bother you? No, no, nothing specific. I was just checking. Hmm. Hmm. So the detective gets bothered by small details, huh? <laughs> <sighs> like an overbearing mother-in-law nitpicking your young wife. Uh, um... What is that analogy? Tennis cable has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. All right. I've searched the whole area now, so I should move on to the next one. There's still other places left to search. Would you like to leave? Yes. I really hope that this doesn't end up being like a shorty episode for you guys, because it definitely might um, with how this is going so far. Hi, Kurumi. Hmm. Huh. What are you doing here, Kurumi? Do you agree? We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person present, yes? As she spoke, she glanced towards Maki. Hmm. Ah, so you're staying with Maki. Got it. That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, can I get a message? Yeah. Or a massage? But of course, since you are here, Suiji, may I ask you a question? 
The time of death was not provided, so I'm questioning everyone in order to determine it. What do you think? When was the last time you saw Ryoma alive? Uh, um, right before I was kidnapped by Ganta yesterday, so around 6 in the evening. So... Last time I saw him was way before then. I didn't see him at all yesterday, actually. Yeah. Then you are fine, Kaido. What's important is the last time someone witnessed him alive. Hey. The last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive. Ganta was the last one to see him alive at around 8 p.m. yesterday. Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by him um, by using his Shukichi method. So Ryoma was still running around after I got captured. Yes, of course. Furthermore, 30 minutes earlier, Miyu saw Ryoma um, as she was fleeing from Ganta. Hmm. In that case, Ganta's testimony is highly credible. Yes. Yes. We saw, at least know that Ryoma was alive yesterday around 8 p.m. Witness Witnessing Ryoma has been added to the, the Truth Bullet section of the monopad. Hey, Maki, what are you doing here? Um, Earlier you said you weren't going to help investigate. Were you serious about that? So what? You'll be fine if I don't help, right? You deserve. You are the detective, not me. Or do you think you can't solve this case on uh, your own? Um, that's completely different. This is... <laughs> huh. That's pretty harsh, but my sidekick is working his ass off. Sidekick. Got it. Yep, Shuichi's my sidekick now. Hey. Shouldn't it be the other way around? The dumb one should be the sidekick, you know. So... The dumb one? I'm more of a scientist type of guy, so this stuff really isn't my thing. Well... Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't being a scientist be helpful for an investigation? No. More importantly, why do you, have you been here this whole time? Is there a reason? I I'd know. Why do you care? No. Because it's been bothering me. You've been in here ever since the room opened up. It's almost as if you're keeping watch, making sure that no one else enters. I don't understand. Is this an interrogation? No. Uh, no. I just... If that's not what I'm trying to do, it's not... Or I just want to talk to you. Or to, or I just want you to talk to me, Maki. If nothing has to do with the case, please tell me so. Hey. If that's... It's true that you don't help have to help us if you don't want to. Is that all right? But you should at least cooperate with our investigation. Because, because all of our lives are on the line. That's so. Even if I did cooperate... I wouldn't be any help, mostly because I've been in here for the last several days. I've only gone back to my dorm at night to shower, including the last night. Hey. Then, did can I ask you this? Did you see Ganta at all last night? Ganta was searching for the ground, uh, or searching the grounds last night, trying to capture all Why? of us. How were you able to avoid being caught? I see. Ganta did not stop by, but I managed to. Or Ganta did stop by, but I managed to chase him off somehow. All I did was tell him. <sighs> If you lay one hand on me, I will. You'll choke to death on your own tongue. That's all. Hmm. So Gonta was scared off by that? Well, I guess you would hold back against a girl. As I listened to Monty, Maki's testimony, a question grew in my mind. Why did Maki not want to be or want to leave so badly? What reason does she have for that? Hey. Are we done here? You're wasting your time talking to me. I don't know anything. Ah. Okay, I'm huh? done. You are. That's right. Well, her alibi is a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's how my instincts, or my instincts are telling me anyway. Hey, so. But if you remember anything, be sure to tell Shuichi, okay? I believe in you. He's my sidekick, you know. He's pretty good. In the end, the only thing we were able to get out of Maki was that she was here the whole time. But no one else can verify the testimony. And that might be a problem later. Maki alone has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. <laughs> So there's one other place that I believe I have to enter that I have not yet. And it was... Yes, the door. Uh, this. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The pool and the dormitory. And don't worry, folks. I'm gonna... Um... When they announced class trial before they do that, I'm going to run around the school a couple times to kind of make up for the levels I'm losing by fast traveling. Because I want to get to level 30. That's hey, or so like Because I feel like I would be around level 30 by the time I start this trial if I was running around. Um, but you bought Ryoma's key, right? It doesn't feel right going in there without permission. But he can't really give it, give it to us anymore. I'm, I'm going to talk about like uh, a level and a half to two levels is I think what we're missing from... Uh, walking around. I might be overestimating it a bit, but we'll find out. Ryoma's room. <coughs> so... 
This is Ryoma's room, huh? So, where's his video? I don't see it sitting any out anywhere. Maybe he put it in his bookcase? Kaido opened all the drawers one by one, checking it. Huh, that's weird. I can't find it anywhere. I see. So we can't find it. That's alright. That's a clue in and of itself. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. You see, if we're supposed if we suppose the motive for the crime was the video, there's a high possibility that Ryoma had the culprit's motive video. Remember. If their motive video was left at the scene, that would immediately uh, they would be immediately suspicious. There's no reason the culprit would leave behind that kind of incriminating evidence. Ah. That's true! Okay. And the video is not in the room, which means So just as I thought, that video was the motive. Okay. Yes, that's the best explanation I can think that's of. All right, kick. that's uh, just what I'd expect from my sidekick. Shuichi. What's the matter, Shuichi? No. It's nothing. So... By the way, I was thinking. I mean... Maybe we should have watched those motive videos yeah. after all. What? Nah. They showed the most important people to us, right? That's right. So maybe we should have watched them. Without... Looking away from the truth. I mean, at the time I agreed with Kibo, but after thinking about it, I have changed my mind. Right. And if we were worried about watching them alone, we could just watch them together. Uh, um, watch them together. Got it. Yeah, we should have gathered together and watched all the videos, share everyone's motives. Even if it's something you can't bear by yourself, it'd be possible with everyone. Yeah. That's what cooperation is, oh. right? That's what Kokichi was trying to do. Huh? huh? Hey, Kokichi was trying to get us to participate in the Moda video viewing party of sorts. That's why he forced us into the same room. Hmm. Do you think that was his way of cooperating? Do you think the same way? Ah. No, no, no. If that's what he wanted, he could have just asked us. Jeez. That's what a normal person would have done. But the thing is, he's not normal. That's right. Maybe he did want us to cooperate, but there's still no way to know for sure. And he'd never tell us. That's true. It's impossible to know what Kokichi's thinking. I suppose he could have been acting in favor for our favor for once. He could have been. <coughs> um, they might have. Yeah, there's. Okay, that's it. So, dormitories figured out, and so now it's just the pool. Wow. Okay. So yeah, definitely a lot less. On that side of things. <clears throat> inner tube? What's going on here? There's an inner tube floating on the pool, but it looks big and like a big sturdy rubber one. Let me guess, some idiots didn't clean up after themselves? Rise and shine, or shine. Uh oh. What do the Monicums have to say about this one? Don't look at us. I don't like water. I prefer juice. We get heavier when our cotton absorbs water. It makes losing weight a nightmare. I want to play in the water with everyone. It sounds fun. You know, Monadom, might be on to something. I kind of want to go in the pool now. Oh, uh, who cares about losing weight anyway? You stupid. Idiots, we're not here to play. We're here to smack these bastards into the pit of hell. Where are the Mono Cubs? The meanest, nastiest, cruelest mascots around. Yes. If you don't get it, I'll throw you into the pool myself. Yes. Please don't! Monosuke, please stop. Can't we all just get along? Uh, you saying that? If we don't get along, I'll end up like Mono Kid? So long, farewell. So then, it was one of us that put the inner tube there, not the Wano Cubs. Well, that doesn't matter. The inner tube probably isn't related to the case. Isn't related to the case. If it were just, if it were just for playing around, then why is there rope tied to it? Could that be for? That's interesting. Bits of fabric. Huh? There's something else floating in the pool. This looks like a little piece of fabric. Jeez. It's just trash, right? Nothing to be worried about. Oh. We're looking for the culprit. We don't have time to pick up the trash. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, yes, but... Perhaps it's just my intuition, but it does bother me. I should just trust it sometimes. My intuition as the ultimate detective. 
piece of fabric has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. It's a lot lower than before, too, with the pool. It doesn't look like a normal school pool, more like a pool resort. The pool is deep and isn't filled by the are uh, all the way. Still plenty of water to swim in though. The water level hasn't changed, but I can see something floating in it. Okay, we're already taking care of those though. The diving board, is that new? The large diving find something you find is nothing about it has changed. Can we go into the storage room though? We weren't able to go to here last time. This is the pool equipment shed. I'll take a look inside just in case. Huh? Is that? An electric air pump? I see. So you could easily fill a large inner tube with this. Hmm. Ugh. But this doesn't seem there that there doesn't seem to be anything else worth inspecting. School building window. Okay, I was able to do this. That window is the shower room to Ariama's lab. I think there's still more to investigate. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Could something be over here? The gym window. You can see the gym window over there. That's the window we investigated from the top of the stage. I mean, it's pretty high up. Wouldn't you need to be able to reach it with a ladder? Okay. I agree. The ladder only barely reached the window, but on... And, oh, wouldn't you wouldn't be able to reach it on the ladder. I agree. The ladder would only be, or barely reached the window, and it was even on the hmm. on the stage. If that's the case, then we might. Uh, it might have been hard for somebody to have gone through there. Okay. Yeah, you might be right. What? Oh, the rule sign. Some of the pool's rules are posted here. There's one that I find peculiar. There's also some specifications written here. The pool is 82 feet in length, 39 in width, and 13 on each end, uh, with the left and right sides being 8 feet each. There's something bothering me about the pool's rules. They say... That's what I missed. Okay. Oh, no! Jumping into the pool, especially at nighttime! Huh? Where did you come from? I mean, jumping itself is fine. If you want to jump in front of a car or a train, that's on you! But the pool itself is off the limits at nighttime. You see, no swimming at nighttime. That's... That would be a violation, right? Hey, uh... If anyone violates the school regulation, a campus wide siren will blare. Yeah! And then the person will be ripped apart by the Exos. Exosols. I don't know. Exosols. What? You'd go that far? Yeah. Well,. Ah, so far the siren hasn't gone off, so no one's needed to be ripped apart! <laughs> Yet! Um, Since that's the case, we can assume no one was in the gym or pool at nighttime, right? Yeah. Well, at the very least, no one alive! Ah, there's the specification. No swimming at nighttime. They might play into this case. Pool rules have been added to the truth bullet section. That's all I needed to investigate. Hey, so hey Shuichi, does this pool cl ha really have anything to do with the case? We got all psyched up about it, but it doesn't seem like there were any clues here. Well, that inner tube is still bothering me. I don't know what it tells us, but I feel like it's related to this case. If that inner tube is related to the case, the culprit is pretty careless. If it was related to the case, why didn't they clean it up? Just leaving it sitting out like that? Don't you think it's a little that straight up careless? No. Even if they wanted to put it away, they couldn't. There's no pole or anything around here that you could use to get an inner tube. Remember, The water level is so low, you couldn't grab the tube, even if you did manage to bring it closer. But you know. Then why not jump in and fish it out by hand? Oh. oh, that's right. They couldn't get in the water. Couldn't get in the water. Yes, I suppose you could think of it that way. There's what I literally spent like five minutes looking for this dang rule book. Already tired of investigating? Oh, you've been tired of it for a while <coughs> now? Well, that's how it goes. Investigations aren't all that fun, you see. But 
It's a necessary step before we can move on to the main event. Kind of like searching the internet for that perfect porno video. Monokuma. Monokuma. Did we really need that? Monok... Oh, God. Monokuma. <sighs> yes, you know, that's definitely what you want to do, Monokuma. 100%. In fact, some people think the search is the best part. Weird, huh? Uh, anyway! Monokuma. The class trial is starting soon. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. <laughs> See you later! Shuichi! Looks like it's time, bro. Okay. Yeah. Dumbass. Hey, why do you look so worried Don't now? Worry about Don't worry. You can do it. I believe in you. Believe in me. Why? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaido? There's a chance that I'm the call. Idiot. I believe in you because I want to. I do I need a reason other than that? Huh? What? Listen up. Isn't that why you believe in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but I if you. I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in people that I want to believe in. Shuichi. Shuichi, we're still young. I can't die before I've had my first drink or gone to space. Let's do it. If you're not going to get yourself in gear, then well then, that now is all you've got. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Kaido, Keep I know. Yeah, that's the expression. I wanted to see... Ha! Huh, that's my sidekick. He's right. I just have to do it. I have to believe in myself. I have to believe that I can do this. I'm going to survive. We're going to survive together. Maybe I don't really understand it just yet, but maybe I don't have to have a reason. <laughs> I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. No, I want to live. I want to live a long life. I don't want to die. I can't die in a place like this. Never. And in the next episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, we will be taking on the, the second of the class trials. Thank you guys so very much for watching this episode. I do appreciate every single one of you. You guys make these so much more enjoyable. And we'll see you guys in that next one when we take on that. It's going to be something crazy and I'm excited for it. See ya!